Ugh, this year's COD isn't even out yet, and it's already a disaster. But you don't even have to buy the game to enjoy the bullshit around this title, because you get a full-size console ad on the Xbox to plug this new game. But if you were unfortunate to be part of early access, you can enjoy things such as an abnormally large file size, campaign that is offensively short even for Call of Duty standards, which are usually around five to seven hours, but we got three to four here. Although it's not just quantity length of the campaign, but also quality, as most gamers are bashing it for being the worst of the MW series and one of the worst of the Call of Duty franchise, period. But do you even launch the game, you need to first launch its predecessor, MW2. Why? Because there's now a stupid unified front end for this game and all future COD titles, which I think is harebrained because COD doesn't need a dedicated launcher because it already exists. It's called AB, the Activision Blizzard launcher. Furthermore, this front end is taking hours for gamers to even log in to be able to play the campaign, and it's supposedly going to be much worse for multiplayer or any kind of online component. Here on the PS5 side of the house, there is zero trophy support, thus solidifying that this was supposed to be a DLC add-on for MW2. W2 because the trophies actually appear under MW2 like an offshoot, an expansion pack. Last but not least, to make gunsmithing easier to use, weapon tuning has been removed. I'm personally indifferent about this change, but a lot of gamers aren't too satisfied. Hmm, I skipped last year, and I think I'm gonna skip another year. This annual release cycle ain't doing no favors for COD and hasn't for the last eight or nine years or so. Although there has been some good titles sprinkled in there. For example, the Cold War campaign, pretty good. The first Modern Warfare reboot from 2019, pretty decent. What the hell's going on here?